Well, hello and welcome back. Today, well, we're going to go for a walk along the head of Paco's Promenade, but before we do, I need to introduce you to the most beautiful woman in the world, Rasidi Alibu. Hello, everybody. How are you today? And how nice to see you again and again. And again. Right, stick with us as we take a little stroll down the head of Paco's Promenade and try and share with you some of the beauty and the spectacality, some of the shops, some of the restaurants. And we're going to start off with a shop that has a place in the heart of two twin brothers, Simon and Jeremy Payne. This is the shop that you love. Have a look at that. So this is the window that Miss Oching Recibe Labouf will find something in that she probably likes. I'll be just standing like a vitrine. Just like a vitrine. And as we progress down, that is the men's section. So that is the part that Simon and Jeremy like. And they'll be in there spending a couple of bob, buying a few bits and bobs. Now, the first restaurant along here is called Chloe's. There it is. That's Chloe's Chinese restaurant. And the food in there is very, very good indeed. And we know that because we've eaten there quite a few times. The next restaurant along is the Osun restaurant. And this restaurant is split into quite a few. It's a fish restaurant. It is. It's very good. It's all true. There we are. He says it's true. It is a very, very good restaurant. And that's some of the things and some of the food it does. It's got Italian Greek style food. It does ribs. It does massive steaks. And above all that, it's quite famous for in the daytime being the pub where you could come and buy a pint of Keo for one euro 69. Yes, one euro 69 and it tops off with an ice cream parlor and then a further restaurant called Leonides which does steaks and traditional cuisine from Cyprus and that sort of thing anyway oh my god all of these diamond shops are open tonight this is a terrible night for Mr. Paul that is for sure actually you, you should have told them please close the shops yeah well they won't catch me again that's for sure right let's proceed down the Cater Paphos promenade stick with us there's a few places open and there's a few places closed. Have a look at that. that. Today it was officially announced like a summer has started. Today is the yeah. summer solace, correct? Yeah. That's right, I heard that on the radio. So this is the first day of summer. And as we said in a few previous videos, the temperature was certainly ramped up a few days ago. And it's now around about 30 degrees at 7 o'clock at night. But luckily, there's a slight breeze, so that keeps us, should we say, that little bit cooler. But at the daytime, it was looking it's like a bit uh, hot, yeah. Sahara dessert. <laughs> yes, in the daytime, as far as we're concerned, it's like the Sahara. But we do understand that most people watching the videos are coming here for holiday. So all they want to do is lounge on the plage or out by the pool, cook, 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 then have a quick shower and get washed, and then go out and party and have something to eat. So here's some of the shops. We've got the wooden pub on the end there. And as you can see, it's a pretty busy pub indeed. It's very popular with locals and expats alike. And then next door to that, you've got Homer's Diamonds. Then you've got the More for Less souvenir shop. And then you've got the Have a Look souvenir shop. And then next door to that, you've got the Azua Restaurant Cafe Taverna, where you can get something to eat or just a coffee or a cocktail, all that sort of thing. And on this side of the road, obviously, there is something very, very special. On this side of the road, there is the blue, blue Mediterranean Sea. Have a look at that. And out into the distance is the Cato Paphos Harbour. You can just see the castle with the pink illuminating lights around it. And then that's the edge of the harbour wall. And hiding in there are a bunch of big boats, small boats, fishing boats, cruise boats. And on top of all that, a couple of police boats painted dark grey so you can't see them when they sneak up behind you if you're doing something naughty that's for sure as we come back in there's some of the pleasure boats and cruising boats the one closest in the big boy in the Paphos cruise arsenal is the ocean vision and the next door to that is the super glass bottom boats and the next door to that is the ocean flyer which we have featured in videos and we will feature again because we understand that, well, one, the people that run those cruises are very nice people, and two, a lot of our subscribers have said they've been on them and they want to go on them again, so we may as well keep featuring them, that's for sure. Chris, yeah? Yeah, it's, um, it's not only because of the sea experience, but it's uh, because to, see, uh, to have a look what it's look like, you know. 
the deep deepness of the sea. Then you can slide there if you good swim, obviously. If you if you don't care about the deepness of the water, or the chuck your husband when you're angry on him, or the wife chuck go down and never come back again. Now you understand why I won't go on a cruise because Miss Oching for Sevilla Booth has got plans for me. She wants to keep my wallet, but she wants to chuck me off the boat somewhere out there in the blue, blue Mediterranean Sea, which is very nice indeed. Have a look at that. Look at that. You can just see the lights reflecting onto the blue, blue Mediterranean Sea. And there's got boats out there, fishing boats, back into the harbour, back into the super boats, and back onto the most beautiful woman in the world. Chuck them, man and a woman, husband on or wife, turn back and you say, Chuck Norris. There we are, back on the theme of getting rid of, rid of your husband. Make sure he's insured very well and make sure he's got his pension fully topped up before you do it, obviously. And we can help you in that situation. Perhaps get you a discount on that ticket because you're not going to drink all the food, eat all the food, sorry, and eat all the drink. I'm using my English. I think you understand what I mean. Why pay the full price if you're only going to chuck him off halfway through? <laughs> Let us negotiate with Tom from Ground Control or let us negotiate with Ruth from Ground Control. And let's see if we can get a discount on that ticket because that would be a total waste of money. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Very nice, very good. So very nice, very good. Mr. Paul can tell you that. Yes. Actually, he's got a nice job. So. Yeah, there we go. Right, so we are back into the harbour area. Well, we're approaching the harbour area, that's for sure. So this is the mooring snack bar there. That's that one. And then you've got the Da Vinci Galiziera, well, ice cream shop. And then here we've got the Rastafarian lady that does these things. There she is. You all right? Good. She's busy as usual. So you choose your yarn, you choose your beads, and she braids you. All for about somewhere between 5 and 10 euros, depends on what you want, obviously. So let's proceed. There is the Sea View gift shop. And the next to that, again, is one of our favourite restaurants, and it's called The Harbour. So it's the last place on the promenade before we actually enter the harbour. And the pizzas in there are absolutely spectacular. And I mean that, they're absolutely wonderful. We've had pizza there five or six times, and they're the greatest pizzas that I have ever eaten. There's Captain Tito. So he's the man there. And if he spots you, he will come up to you and he'll squirt you with tomato ketchup. And once he's done that, he'll invite you in. There we go. Oh, there she is. The most beautiful woman on the promenade. You see, welcome coming. She's thinking about money. She's had his money and now she wants mine. But I haven't gotten it. Anyway, that's the superstar Constantinos. What he does is put your name on a grain of rice or your slogan. And on top of that, they can also do you true seashells. Again, with slogans, I love you, this sort of stuff. The bracelets, different colours. All sorts of little ideas. We might get one of these made for our new cat. Yes, we have saved a little kitten. So I'm going to jot down, you jot down his name, Mr. Smadley. And we'll get Mr. Continuous to make one. And I'll cross that beautiful lady's palm with a little bit of my silver. So we'll be back in a bit. We'll be back in a bit. Thanks very much. So the next one of our Goombarus along the way is Mr. Mark. And he's sitting there and he's still got my hat on because that's my hat. I want that hat. You all right, Mr. Mark? You all right? Good. And there is his beautiful, beautiful wife. Always looks beautiful. Have you been busy? Yeah. Yeah? We, look, we need one of these. Can we have this? Because we do want one. Anyway, this is another braider, but this one is the best because Jenny is the best. There we go. You've heard it from Jenny's mouth herself. Jenny is known as the best. She's known as Jenny the best hair braider in the whole of Paphos. And there's some of her examples. Again, different color twines, different beads, Cross her palm with a little bit of silver, somewhere between five and ten euros, and she will braid you. And Mark will say hello to you. Hi. See you later. See you later. Yeah, Absolute superstars, all of them. Now, this is Mr. Hector, and Mr. Hector has invited us many times to come and film him while he's drawing. So guess what? We will. Let's have a look. There he is filming. Mr. Hector does is portraits or caricatures 
and he is possibly the greatest artist. He's waving to us now. There we are. He's tilting the man's head. He's already drawn his wife. Now he's going to draw the husband, and it's going to be a great, great picture, that's for sure. Here we are. Here she is. One of the rivals again. She's braiding away like crazy. <laughs> you all right? Busy? As usual. There we go. So this again is what she does. Different twines, different colours, different beads. Tell her what you want. She'll do it. Cross a palm with a little bit of silver, five to ten euros, and you're going to have a very nice braid. The next on the list, he's already smiling. He's the hairiest man in the whole world. <laughs> Never mind Paphos, there he is. Look at the smile on him. Look at that smile. No, you said that you are hairiest. I said the hairiest. The, yeah, hairiest man in the whole of Paphos and possibly the nicest man. The smile, well, how do I say it? The smile alone will, will melt the elastic in a lot of women's underwear, that's for sure. Don't say my secret. Don't say my secret on YouTube. And what he does? Well, he promotes various things, like the Blue Lagoon Cruises. He also does this one over here, which goes out. And you get a barbecue lunch. There's his phone number. There we are, girls. If you want his phone number, he's on Viber. He's on WhatsApp. Let him have a little whisper in your ear and see what happens to the elastic in your down underwear. He's also in cahoots with CY Dive. And he always wants to give you a drink. What was that again? You like to drink some beer, some coffee? No, on the way back, on the, on the way back. So, if ever you want a beer, a coffee, or a drink, come and see him. He's a barman. He's a barman. But he really is a nice guy. He's an absolute superstar. He's been on this promenade up there, down here, and over there. For how long have you been now? 15 years? Oh, no, seven years I work in this business. Only seven years? Seven years, yeah. Sorry, I lied. Time I am, goes. I am 33 years now. Oh, yeah. yeah, 33. Yeah, yeah. Right, we'll see you on the way back, Mr. Jones. He is a superstar. He is a nice guy. He really, really is. So if you want to go on one of those cruises, go and see him. You don't pay any more because you go through him, if you understand. The commission is already built in, whether you go to him. There we are. There's Simon. You right, Simon? There he is. That's the guy who plays the... Accordion. Accordion, yeah. He is. Lovely guy. You've seen him in previous videos with his wife and his little girl, Sophia, and he is a great, great guy. He's obviously having a night off tonight. He's obviously made lots of money in the daytime, perhaps. There we go. So, stick with us as we come to the end of the Cade of Paphos Promenade. And as you can see, it's getting that little bit busier. And the ships are getting that little bit closer. And the ocean vision is getting that little bit bigger. And it is a very, very big ship indeed. Very, very nice indeed. So, let's see how many more friends are along the end. When we get to the end, well, you're going to get a very, very good buy from watching for Sevier Le Bouffe. But don't worry, we're going to reboot and come back in four hours. And guess what? We will be in the greatest area in the whole of Paphos. And that area is downtown Cato Paphos Harbour area. With all the restaurants and even more of our friends, Orgumbaru's as we call them. So stick with us. The next one on our travels is Mr. Costa, and he's one of the greatest caricature drawers in the whole world. Never mind just baffles. That's for sure. There he is, Mr. Costa. That's what he does, caricatures. It says five minutes, but remember we are on shipry time, so about 15 minutes or thereabouts, that's for sure. Does Sylvia? Mr. Kostas is always busy. Yeah, he is. And uh, sometimes he can wave you, but he's very, very in his job. Yeah, he's very introverted, he's very focused on what he does, and he's actually an artist, and he does teach art in the day, if you're wondering what his job is. So, let's show you the Cato Paphos view from the end of the promenade, and hopefully you can capture all the lights flickering, and all the way out to the hotels. Have a look at that. There we go. So we are at the end and there is the glistening light of the promenade and the glistening sea as we go out all the way out to the hotels after hotel after hotel after hotel and now we're going to have a very very good goodbye from Miss Ochin Gracivia La Bouffe as we come back into the harbour area. Gracivia? Well, from the bottom of this pointiest point of the, all the pointiest points in Paphos, I would like to tell you Many, many thanks. I would like to tell you, thank you for staying with us. Thank you for subscribing and spending time with us. And many kisses from us. And again, thank you so much.
all that's left for me to say is thanks for watching and if you do like what you see please hit that like click subscribe and come back for a little bit more of our madness i will leave you with a vision of a goddess well the views would go up that's for sure thanks for watching